بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا وشفيع ذنوبنا عبد القاسم مصطفى محمد وعلى اله طيبين الطاهرين المعصومين سيدنا بقية الله في عند صاحب القصر والزمان ارواحنا له فدا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته I would like to share with you some remarks on the issue of Yemen. Uh, I do not take particular topic to speak about. But I will make remarks generally on this catastrophe. It is now seven years that Yemen has been under attack in what they call war. The definition of war is a fight between two militaries of two sovereign nations. But what is happening now is aggression against Yemen. It's, it's not war at all. It's a crime against humanity. They have been subjected to series of air strikes from far. Strike that descends upon ordinary people, killing men, women, and children in their houses, in their places of work. There has been attack on schools, killing teachers and students. Even a school bus was attacked, carrying children to school. Prison were was attacked, killing a number of inmates and, the, and workers. Hospitals also were attacked, killing patients, uh, nurses and doctors and other workers. One might ask, is it war? Well, that's what they say. And what, what is the reason behind it? Why, 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 why fight Yemen? Those who, the who carry out this area, the coalition of uh, KSA and UAE uh, on behalf of their masters, US, uh, UK, and France. They said that the reason is to return the Austin President Mustahadi back to power. One might ask, uh, is it the business of coalition of KSA, UAE, and other countries to decide for the Yemenis who should be their president? It is the business of Yemenis to decide who should be their president. If they want Hadi back, it is up to them to say they want him back. If they don't want him, it is their own business. After all, how can you think of raiding a nation and to return an individual back to power. Should that individual go back and be president of dead people? Or is he going to be uh, president of the brief families, survivors of, of his war? For example, you would expect uh, the children of whose fathers were murdered to accept the murderer as their new president? Or you expect fathers whose children were murdered to accept to, 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 in, in order to return Mustahadi, to accept Mustahadi as their president. There is no sense in this war at all. It's a, a sensible fight. What, might I say? what, what is the real reason? I, certainly it's not the return, to return somebody back to power. There has to be a reason. After all, the coalition is actually fighting of a proxy war all the, the weapons that, had, that are used were made and supplied by Western powers. They, they are, their weapons and their so-called advisors were on the ground to, 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 to carry out all the atrocities against the enemy people. The proxy war 
my man much as why 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 is is the west interested in destroying women people putting women into siege they have done so in other countries quite okay they have done so in libya in in, in, in iraq and syria now in yemen destroying everything they could possible it appears that is a grand design to create what they call new world order or a great, what do they call a greater israel and certainly they consider those in the coalition to already be part of that greater israel that's why they they don't consider attack upon ksa and uae because after all they think that they are part part of the, uh, their, their, their nations already jordan was already part of them they consider that if if if, if this is if, if there is any problem these people will kill themselves and in the end of the day they weaken themselves and in the end of the day they will they, they they will find it easy to absorb all of them now why is the world silent about the catastrophe in yemen people have been deprived of pure drinking water they have been deprived of electricity they have been deprived of uh, oil energy to, to 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 power everything including running the hospitals there have been humanitarian crisis in a, in a nation which has or before the attack has been suffering since and now the attack has made things worse and with uh, the, the the coming of uh, covid-19 things become worse for yemenis they have been they have they, 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 they have they have been in it in, in put in siege demand for food medicine and everything have, has been denied to these people and yet they have been they they they, they, are, they are called as if they are uh, they are aggressors the aggressors now blame them for 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 crime they have never committed the humanitarian uh, problem in 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 yemen is the worst of its of its kind in, in modern hum, human history and nobody simply care but alhamdulillah the yemenis have been resisted so far and they have the right to resist why as the yemen is uh, it's a military that is fighting and they have they 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 respond in the way they could to some targets including military of course but, but most of it is military targets why as the, the the attack against why against the civilian people they have they, they they have resisted so far and they have been adamant and we hope and pray that uh, the victory will be on yemeni side inshallah may allah protect yemeni people may allah pro, uh, uh, you know destroy the arrogant powers and their puppies who fight on their behalf sallallahu alaihi wasallam